Welcome back, Snoop Troop. It's your boy, Snoop Ellie Carson, aka the Spice King, as you can see per my last video. Um, today I got a seafood boil. We got some king crabs back here, some corn, some snow clusters, and some sausage. Um, it should be pretty good. Um, I got a story time for you today, so stick around. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and grab my. What? Because my topic, I'm a. Wait, how should I do this thumbnail? I'll do one like this. Oh, king crab. I like that. Is that long enough? Ah, thank you, Lord, for. Excuse me, thank you, Lord, for this food I'm about to receive. Amen. And I got some nice ice cold water. So, it's been actually, it's actually been a while since I posted too. I was uh, stressing about some things. L lack of appetite. I still got a, I still got a very small appetite right now, but it's seafood, so it, it helps. Um, so, I was scrolling through my time hop, and if you don't know what time hop is, basically it takes all your social medias and uh, um, puts dates on them and, like back in time, so like on this day, and there was something that came up, and I was like, I forgot about this. So time, I got arrested. Now, this story is hectic, and it's a very interesting one too. Um, I was, let's start from the top. There was, I got back from college, moved back to Wisconsin from Ohio, and uh, I was staying at my brother's house, and he had some girls from high school there. And so, like, I exchanged information with this girl. I haven't seen her in years. Um, she was looking kind of cute. Like, way better than the high school days that I remember. And uh, we exchanged information um, basically the whole summer. And it was like the end of summer. We finally, like, got together, um, went out to the bar, um, got some drinks. My other friend Levante came, chilled with us. You know, whatever. Uh, and by this time, at the end of the summer, uh, since I was, I think, going back to UW-Milwaukee, I was staying with my sister. And uh, I'm, I'm having a hard time eating these today. Um, with my sister. And it was, like, right by the bar. So we just, like, walked to it. All right. Things are going well. Things are going smooth, all fine and dandy. And then we leave the bar. And like there's like a trail. And you know, I wasn't gonna bring a girl back to my sister's house, so that part of the story is hectic. So I'll leave that out. Um maybe I'll say it on live or something else, money out. But after that part, we went back to my sister's house, and I called her a cab, like, we said our goodbyes, but you know, you know, drinking and driving. Called her a cab, we said our goodbyes, um, you know, it's just normal stuff. So, the next day, my friend comes up to me. And was like, you know that girl you were with yesterday? Last night? And I was like, yeah. He was like, she's dead. I said, what? Yeah, he's like, yeah, and the police are looking for you. I said, no. My heart just dropped. Apparently, I was the last person to see her. 
And now they are looking at me kind of crazy. And I'm like, I don't know. I called her a cab. And so basically I call the police right away. And I say, yo, I'm here to talk to y'all, whatever. She d died of a drug overdose. And one, I didn't even know. I was like very naive to like that world. Like I didn't really like think people were actually out here. I mean, especially not the people I hung out with, like actually like on um, hard drugs like that. And especially not her, because I wouldn't have been hanging out there. And no offense, um, God rest her soul, but you know. Um, that's very sad, but for me, I was scared. Like, I was gonna get blamed for something I didn't do. And, uh... I talked to the police. Um... Everything's cool, like, they didn't, they didn't really, like, say anything bad about me or whatever, like... Usually when it's like an overdose case like that, they check people's phones. I think, I, I don't know if I was the last person she texted or not, or if it was her dealer or whatever. Um, because this was a long time ago, but. Um. Yeah, empty. These crab legs suck. They, they're good, but it's just small. Like, some you gotta fight to get the meat out. It's my first time eating all day, too. And then, uh, yeah, where was I? She, uh, me or the dealer. So I'm cooperating with everybody. But, and this is how naive we were. The, obviously, they looked at the, um, the bar footage and stuff like that and seemed like everything was smooth and cool and um Levante was underage like I think he had a fake ID or something so when the police asked who I was with or like who that other guy was he's like don't tell him don't tell him and I didn't I didn't it wasn't until a few Weeks or months later, where they contacted me again and had some more questions for me, that, because I think we would, like, communicate on the phone and stuff, and I kept telling them I didn't know who Levante was and yada, 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 and uh, then they actually asked me one time to meet up, and then they had, like, a whole file on Levante, like, his name, they're like, you don't know who this is, and I'm like, okay, yeah, it's Levante, and... <laughs> They're like, why wouldn't you? I'm like, well, because he's underage and we didn't, he didn't want to get in trouble. He's like, this is a homicide case. We don't care about um, underage drinking, you know, right now. I'm like, oh, my bad. So, this case, I end up, like, they ended up finding out who sold her the stuff. And, uh... For a trial, they wanted me to come in and speak on my my side of the story or whatever. And this case kept getting like pushed back, pushed back, pushed back. And now it's like maybe like three, four years later. I kept getting like throughout this whole time actually, I kept getting like subpoenas. Let me try some of this corn. Mmm. I never eat the corn on my channel. And I never be eating the sausage either. I'm gonna clean my hand and take a break. I got subpoenas. I kept getting subpoenas. And basically, I think they're called subpoenas. I don't know, it's a long time ago. And basically, they're just like saying you have to come to court for this. So I, was, I would have been on the stand, you know. And uh, after years, yo, this water's so good, it's nice and ice cold. 
after years of like getting the uh, subpoenas, I kind of just like start ignoring them. And uh, my appetite's so small. I look like I was crying. I um, It's kind of a hard. It's not a hard story to tell. It's just like bring me back and like all the scared emotions I had thinking I was gonna get in trouble and get blamed for this even though I know I had nothing to do with it so kept getting subpoenas and every time it was it, like the date extended they give me a new one and at this point I'm like you know what I want that part of my life to be um out of here like I don't really want anything to do with this like I don't want to go to the court trial I just I just don't want to like now I'm thinking that mindset is kind of crazy like but I'm like you know you guys got the guy you know um I'm you know I'm 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 in the clear and this is not something I really want to deal with <laughs> I was 21 so well, at this point, I think I was 24. Oh. The last one they got, I think they came to my house. And uh, they gave it to the subpoena to my girlfriend at the time. And they're supposed to serve them to you. And I don't, I don't know. Gave it to my girlfriend. And uh, I looked at it and I just kind of threw it away. Which is hectic. <laughs> Didn't pay any mind to that, you know? Um, I'm like, whatever. Because I was just going to try to skip it. I, I, I was going to skip the court date and hope they just, you know, figure figure that stuff out and at the dude's trial. Because the dude was on trial. And, uh... Y'all, y'all... Y'all see, I'm struggling with these today. You gonna be in the comments? You need to learn how to look at that. Mm. Just... <laughs> that was good. Um, for his trial, and so I uh, we're gonna skip it. Fast forward to. Me being at work, the same job where I met Zaddy Chunk Chunk, um, it was an office building and you like needed a key card to swipe in or whatever. And I'm just chilling, doing my work or pretending to and uh, my manager comes up and he's like, Levante, the police want you. For what? So I, so I went out and sure enough, I think there's like two cops. And he's like, uh, yada, 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 this trial's today. And he said he was going to arrest me or I was under arrest. Or, I don't know, you're being taken into custody. I don't know the language they used. Um, and I'm like, all right, can we at least, like, can you at least put the handcuffs on, like, downstairs? I might work. This is embarrassing. And sure enough, they walked me out. Um, and then waited to put the cuffs on, and then we talked about it, and then he's like, you were subpoenaed, and you, yada, 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 basically, they just drove me to the trial, <laughs> and I had to wait, uh, wait in a room until, I guess, they were ready to, for me to speak or whatever, so, now they bring me in, they bring me on the stand, and the, uh, excuse me, the guy's lawyer, you know, was questioning me. And they were questioning me just like about the night and like my story and all that. And she tried to like, she low-key tried to like spin it in a way that I was the guilty one. Because she was questioning me on some stuff like, she said... Well, then you, and then you went back to the bar. 
I'm like, no, we never went back to the bar. Well, you told the officer here in this statement. So is this statement, I'm like, I don't know if um, I told that to the officer or he just misheard me, but that's, it's not true. And, uh, and then she's like, no further questions. There's like more to it. You know, the whole me getting like grilled, but basically I just had to save my night and then like say the things we did and um, stuff like that. And uh, um, and then she's like, no further questions, yada, yada, yada. And basically try to, because I called her a cab and there, there's records of that but she was trying to spin it in a way that I called, like that I was lying. But when you're telling the truth, you don't. Ha I don't have to remember a lie. And when I was done, they said, "All right, you can go home." I'm like, "Go home. You just go back to work, whatever." They drove me from Appleton to Oshkosh. And what is that? A good. A good 30 minutes? Now you didn't brought me to a whole nother city 30 minutes away. And uh, and now I gotta find a way home. Now this is before Uber and Lyft, or at least before Uber and Lyft made it to. Made it to the Appleton area. And uh, so. Call my ex-girlfriend at the time and ask her for a ride. And throw out everything that happened. And, and after that, you know, I was off. I was off the hook. I don't even remember if he was found guilty or not, to be honest. I, I feel like he was found guilty. But he didn't get that much time. I don't... Maybe just not charged with homicide? I don't know. But that was that was that whole experience was like crazy and very embarrassing for them to try to, to take you out of work. I should have been more like willing to go. I think I was just like mentally over it. And then they was like, no sir, you you come into this trial. <laughs> and they got me got me right in there. And I go back to work. Everybody asking me all these questions. You know. I gotta tell them. What was that about, man? Now you got supervisors looking at me crazy because this is a professional environment. You can't just be getting arrested at work. I'll finish the day. And uh, hopefully, you know, that girl's family felt uh, avenged, you know, by the trial and like all her friends and like her mom and stuff came up and at the end like hugged me and stuff. And but yeah, that's the type of stuff that be happening to me. I got, and if time hop keeps coming up, so I'll, be, I'll be forgetting all that. Here we go. Now the crowd is just good. I love keeping not feel like getting stabbed by these spikies. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh yeah, that was uh, the time I got arrested for not 
showing up to someone else's trial. And we all know what happens, you know. You see it on TV and you get served with that, the papers. And they come in to get you. It's not like the, uh, the movies where, um, what, the person win the trial or lose the trial. And mind you, I was never a suspect. Like, I wasn't on trial, somebody else was on trial. I was just the last person to see this girl from, I think, most people's knowledge. She, like, texted me goodnight. The last person she texted, I don't know. But for one, I didn't, I didn't like that. Um, it, like, even, like, the slightest hint of doubt. I don't know if y'all can hear that. That bear's going crazy. Sound beautiful though. Sounded like James whistling. I don't want like a shred of doubt in anybody's head that I was like, I'm not gonna say that type of person, but I was even in that world at all. Mind you, me, all my brothers, um, like very in the sports. So we stayed away from that stuff. Like I didn't smoke weed. I still don't. I didn't. Uh, I drank, but you know, didn't do any other drug. You know, any other drugs, and didn't hang around people that did. Um. Especially not no hard ones like that. But, you know, so, crazy world out there. And then the whole Levante part. Looking back at that, that was silly. Underage drinking. <laughs> I wonder whose fake he was using. Probably James or something. Everybody got fake IDs in the... Did you have a fake ID? I did. I had my older brothers, Tremaine, aka Pink, and I got it confiscated. It's another story. My um sister had um everybody went out so they asked me to uh to dd so i had her car or whatever drove them ironically to Oscast. then i went back to appleton and i was just chilling came to pick them up at bar close cops saw me pulled me over and sweated me about in this this is Wisconsin, so all that Black Lives Matter stuff really like worked, especially in that area, because they don't, they're not as aggressive, at least like in my experience. I think that summer alone, I was pulled over like six times. Mind you, I had my license, you know, I was good. But this day, I also had my brother's license on me on the cop. You sure you didn't use this to get into the... No, officer, I wasn't in there. I was at home tonight. And basically, he just sweated me. And let me go. Obviously, they would always let you go. I don't know what his reasoning for pulling me over was, but they always let me go. Like... I've been driving for 10 years and I have one ticket, one driving ticket and I got that last year for speeding, but I've been pulled over, I couldn't even tell you how many times I've been pulled over back, especially back um, then, I was getting pulled over a lot, like four or five times in one summer, <laughs> 
summer alone, and that's when I, you know, back from school and everything too. Um, you know, but they they stopped. They really stopped being as aggressive with the with the um, black community as far as um, that stuff goes, especially after um, especially after George Floyd. Um, after George Floyd and all the um, all the riots and stuff, I was walking down the street and a, a cop honked to wave at me. I'm like, I've never seen that a day in my life. He just wanted to say hi, you know, which is which is cool. Um, it's nice that you know that stuff kind of um, actually worked. This is definitely necessary. Nobody should be getting pulled over five times, and uh, they all they always let me go because I feel like they had a guilty conscience because they didn't pull me over for the reason that they said they did. Um, but yeah, how'd you like the story? Any advice? Um, any advice I would give? Oh, go to your subpoena, because they don't, they won't come looking for you. But alright guys, I am kind of full. I told you I didn't really have much of an appetite today, but I thought I had a, you know, an interesting enough story. Hopefully more stories, um, keep coming out because, you know, Time Hop always recycles them and I can share them with you guys about how crazy my life is. Um, but until next time. Snoop TV is out. Oh, keep my shit been going. Oh, see, no, you are not my bro. Please quit acting like you know me.